We offer an integrated fast and non-destructive set of photo tools that provide a range of photo editing features. First, load the photo you want by dragging it from your file explorer onto the program's title bar. Your document opens in a photo document. This icon tells you that this is a photo document, just as this icon tells you that it is a print document, and this is a web document. Photo documents are designed specifically for storing photo data, so that no matter what changes you make, you can always return to the original, or master, high quality image. Resize your photo if necessary. The easiest way to crop a regular shape out of a photo is to click on the Enhance tool in the Photo Tool flyout bar and drag across the photo. When you release the mouse pointer, you can see the cropped area. And if you change your mind and want to alter the size of the cropped area, you can drag the sides or corners to adjust the crop borders, like this. You can also use the Clip tool to crop a photo. If you click and drag on the cropped rectangle, you can move it around the photo, like this. When you have finished, click the Clip button. This too can be undone at any time, either by dragging on the clip borders or by clicking Unclip. The Clip tool gives you some extra options, such as precise width and height values, which you can enter here. And you can choose from various crop aspect ratios to constrain the crop. Just click here to lock the aspect ratio. Then click on one of these ratio options here. The easiest way to crop a photo to an irregular shape, let's say a circle, is to apply a mask. Draw the shape and then invert the mask. When I click here, the pink shaded area indicates the part of the photo protected by a mask, which is, in this case, all of the photo. I'm now going to draw a circle on top of the mask, so that it appears as if there were a hole within the mask. Switching back to the selector tool, I can reposition and resize it as required. You can use any shape, even a freehand drawn shape, to crop to. Now just select the window menu, invert mask. Now the circle is the only area of the photo covered by the mask. All I have to do is press the delete key. The program asks me if I really want to delete the masked object or the mask. So I click here to confirm that I want to delete the object. Now all of the photo, apart from the circular area I wanted, has gone. You can add an outline easily by just selecting the line width here. And as a finishing touch, you can very quickly add a drop shadow with the shadow tool. Just drag to create the shadow. And finally, you can export in any required format using the File and Export options.